Hi everybody, I'm Chris Brinkley at Snappy Tomato Pizza. It's the Coach Jason Simpson Show. The Skyhawks are coming off a tough loss at Murray and fighting injuries, but a big win at Tennessee Tech back on Thursday night, Coach. It sure was, Chris, and we're, we're you know, excited to go on the road and, and get a, a conference win and you know, coming back off the, the loss the week before. So, uh, you know, kids feel pretty good about themselves and coming back from 11-point deficit and fighting back. So, uh, you know, good win and uh, get back in the conference race. And, and I thought your team mentally showed a lot of resiliency in that game and going into that game. I really did. I, I was proud of them. Uh, you know, there's something we're looking to take that next step from a maturity standpoint and, you know, play the game the right way and, and do things the right way. And, and I thought we did that for the most part and it gave us a chance to win. Okay, we'll watch the highlights from the game at UT Martin at Tennessee Tech. Simpson there prior to the game in the locker room. Here's the start of the game. Tennessee Tech with the football. You know, nice stop by our defense there. And, you know, they're trying to run a little option here. And, boy, you've got to be good at that to be able to read the option and triple option and get it pitched. And we call it almost a turnover. And then we finally get one here. Back on offense, a little uh, screen pass versus a zone blitz. Hit Chris Thompson there for a big gain. And that was a good third down conversion. Here's Derek Carr does a nice job stepping up and, and making a play on third down and you know good to see him you know being smart with the football and taking care of it. Carr this time throws it to Thompson. Nice and a little out throw and uh, you know keep the chains moving. He thought he was real accurate underneath center. McNair with the carry. Good job on the little stretch, little stretch zone and Jason McNair and we get stopped here and we just have to settle for three. But uh, Cody Shannon does a nice job coming in there and kicking between uprights and getting us on the board. Three nothing on the 28 yard field goal. You know, they're back uh, trying to get in the red zone and put the ball on the ground again. And like I said, when you run those triple options, uh, you know, sometimes those fumbles can happen. This time the quarterback lets it fly. Yeah, you know, nice conversion right there by them. And they're down in the red zone and, and knocking on the door. It's the end of the first quarter, still three to nothing. They flush them out of the pocket here and we're letting number three get loose and, um, you know, to make a big number third down conversion there. and. Nice play there by Derek Welch on a little option, and we have a little trap coverage, and Derek comes up and makes a nice play, and you know, throw the little fade route over the top of our head, and, and Bedford's a good player, and he makes the catch, and, and uh, they take the lead. We just didn't play well, I didn't think, in the secondary uh, consistently enough. 7-3 the score. You know, they started uh, hitting us here pretty good on a couple of these drives and, and making some throws, and uh, of course, we stop them here and hold them to a field goal, and, no, I thought both their kickers had strong legs, and and so they make it. And now we're down 10-3, but uh, still still hanging in there, playing hard. It was a 40-yarder as the Skyhawks get the kickoff. You know, we're trying to get better on this kickoff unit. We're getting close. Uh, there's AJ Williams able to get us out there to about the 35. A little, little little dart play for us, moving the pile, and those four-yard runs start adding up. Barksdale. Good job here by Shive stepping up and making a play, and you know those are big yards for us um, with him. You know he's a pretty mobile guy, so I was glad to see that. Barksdale again. You know, Tevin Barksdale having a good day and kind of his breakout day, uh, running physical and and getting down here. Here he gets under his pads and you know really runs over the safety, and and our players see that and kind of really gives us a spark as we finish out this drive. And Carr finds Milligan. Nice job there by Carr and Milligan and. Unfortunately, have to settle for another field goal, and uh, but Cody knocks it through, and we we'll get back on the board, and you know, cut the deficit now to ten to six. Back with the football, Tennessee Tech. 
You know, there's old Jet Howard coming in, getting a knock loose there off the blitz and, and getting them into second long. You know, I thought the guy was was uh, out of bounds, but uh, they caught him in bounds and you know extends the drive. And there we two guys miss a sack, and the third guy and they're able to get it out there to Bedford, and you know he converts on the first down. And you know those are things if we can eliminate, I think we got a chance to be pretty good on on defense. And there we finally get the sack there by Josh Bay and Tim Cox. Now we've got them to third and long again. And go back, and they still are able to convert this. So uh, you know two big third and longs and. And they're still in the red zone, it's right for the half, and you know, not a very good job there by Jonathan Utley. Utley and they're able to throw the little bender over the top of our middle linebacker's head. Hey, play hard that half. Now we got to play. Now we gotta make some more plays, right? Yes, sir. We gotta make some more plays. We gotta we gotta get one more one play. We gotta get one more guy on the ground. Backs gotta make one more guy miss. Receivers gotta bust one more guy. Woo! We gotta map up. And maybe we get him the third down. We gotta get off the field. Yes, sir, we gotta man. get off the field. Yes, You know, we try to get in at halftime, make a few adjustments on defense and a couple of things on offense we wanted to take a look at and we come back out and hit shot on a little curl route and they kind of bust their coverage and you know, moving the ball down the field here and nice shot on a little out throw there by Derek Carr and, and uh, you know, trying to get a little bit of momentum going and a little screen pass there to Jason McNair and you know, eating up some yards, Jason's pretty good on these screen routes. This time Carr's going to take the hit. Yeah, just our, our tackles are once a game. It seems like both tackles are giving up sacks and pressures, and you know we've got to we've got to eliminate that from our from what we're doing. I thought the Derek Carr did a nice job there on the offensive punt, but they said the ball went toward touchback. Gave take, it, take back with it. I gave up a couple uh, you know long runs there that we've got to you know solidify some things up, and you know once we can get teams going east and west against us, we're pretty fast. We're able to run things down. Ball on the ground again there as they try to run the triple option and and uh, so we stop them and make them punt and lo and behold they, they pin us down here inside the five yard line. Skyhawks back with it. Barksdale's going to run this one for a five yard pickup just trying to get away from the end zone. Get it out of there and you know we, we go uh, obviously we got to go 99 yards and um, you know that's what exactly what we did. Nice little zone run there by Tevin gets it out of the 20 gives us some breathing room and and we come back here with a little uh, play action pass and nobody's open. Derek steps up, makes you know, makes some big yards with his legs. Here we are off the little reverse. There's little Mo and get the tackle out there cut and Mo make make a few more yards off that. Damn, here's a big play. Watch car find Shiver. Second and one, nice little play action pass and and you know off the off the power pass and uh, Shiver's able to make a big play. Hard run action downhill and Number 11 there lets us run right past him, and uh, that's, what, that's how you practice it. And the Skyhawks get the touchdown. Here's the point after. Now we've cut the depth, deficit to 17 13 and then trying to make a game. And Martin gets it back. Nice interception there by Jonathan Utley, and you know, the momentum has changed, and you know, we're getting a little push here, and the guy doesn't see the old Mike dropping back there, and 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 you know, we've got to get those. We've got to be a, a turnover team and don't get our tackle out there on the little on the little screen play. Car to McNair. You know, once again our tackle doesn't um, you know doesn't kick out and you know here's the, the fake punt and you know off the rugby punt and Joe Hook does a great job and makes a couple guys miss and you know that's a big first down for us. Gutsy play call and it certainly pays off. Back to a little halfback pass to Jason McNair, and he finds shy before a big gain, and and just trying to find ways to get in the end zone. Here we go, off tackle here, and we, you know, getting down to, to the one, and actually thought that uh, Kevin Barksdale was able to get in, but Carr takes it in, and a little quarterback sneak, and, and now we're, we've taken the lead. Cody Sandlin with the point after. And it's 20 to 17. UT Martin leads it here at the end of three quarters. Fourth quarter, they're they got a drive together here, and we get the pick, and 
um, you know, like to get it out of there, but here we started our two again, and there's there's Otevin coming out of a, of a zone play and you know getting us out past the 20 and giving us some breathing room. McNair this time. Good job by Jason. Jason's a real elusive runner and with good vision, and uh, you know we, we're going to need both those guys. Barksdale this time. Nice job there on the power, and and uh, Tevin's able to rip off some big yards, and he's starting to feel it now, and, and just having fun playing football. Car finds Kenny Jones. Nice play by Kenny, and Kenny's a very valuable receiver, and continue to get the ball to him. Barksdale with the pickup. Thought he was going to get in here. We got it down to the one. We we'll come back and give it to him again, and. He does the honors, and uh, boy, that, I'm real proud of that offense. And uh, you know, be able to take the ball down there. I think on one pass play, that, that that says something about our growth as a football team. Sandlin with the extra point, and you build on that lead now, 27-17 in the fourth quarter. But uh, Tech does not go away. No, they're hanging in there. They're making some plays, and and uh, nice job here. And hit the quarterback, and uh, you know, misplay the ball, and and they get a score, and and you know, cut it to three. 27-24 still in the fourth quarter. Get the blitz and get the ball. Boy, we have a chance to pick up another fumble there. Quarterback Lamb lets it go. Boy, a nice job by Bay there getting his hands up or that's going to be a big gainer. Oh, Jason needs a, I mean, there needs a fair catch that ball. and, and I agree, Coach. <laughs> get to the next play. <laughs> So, you know, we have to punt, and, and luckily they, they, they rough us and give us the first down. And, uh, you know, at this point we're trying to run some clock and, and uh, get as many seconds off that clock as we can. Skyhawks did control the time of possession. Nice play here by Derek on the little boot, and it's third and five. And I uh, got a good play call, and Derek takes it himself and stays in bounds and gets the first down and, and eats up another two minutes off the clock. You know, get it down here to a third and one, one and a half, and we've got to be able to get a first down here. And we're unfortunately not able to do it, and uh, that gives them an opportunity to get the ball back. And at this point, they're only three points down, and our defensive line is still getting pushed, and that's real good to see. And you know, making it difficult for that other quarterback to step up as that pocket collapses. Here we are, last play of the game, and no Derek Welch. Got his first start and played every snap and gets the pass breakup and uh, you know good way to end the game. Skyhawks won it 27-24 at Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Martin gets a win over Tennessee Tech on Thursday night. Coach, it doesn't get any easier though. Saturday, <laughs> you're back home, which is a good thing, but right. you're playing Jacksonville State, a very good football team. Well, if you're going to play them, you have to play them at home, and you're playing a 5-0 and team, a team ranked you know, uh, number three, number four in the country that's already been an SEC team this year. So uh, your hands are certainly full but uh, with them, but you're, we're 2-0 and at home against them in the last four years. Uh, yeah, you know, So we'll, we'll go and play and, and try to get into a fourth quarter game like, like uh, we've done in the past and give ourselves a chance to win. Coach, the schedule has been interesting this year in that we've played a lot of road games up to this point, right. and now we have three home games coming up right. in a row. Well, we need them. I mean, it's certainly yeah. been uh, been tough on us. Our, you know, four of our first five games on the road. That's uh, that's not that's not a good uh, you know that's not keys to success. But we we fought through it, and we're still in the conference race, and uh, we need to take care of our home games. D does a road game build character and maybe even help chemistry because you have to spend yeah. time on the bus with each other? Well, especially if you win, yes, yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get so far out of the race you can't overcome those things. So uh, it was good. It was a good trip to, to Cookville and to get back and, and have a weekend off and, and get ready for a big week. Hey, join us next week on the Coach Jason Simpson Show as we look back at the game against Jacksonville State. For Jason Simpson, I'm Chris Brinkley.